Hey guys, this problem is fairly simple. We're given three numbers in scientific notation, and we're asked to add them together. Now the obvious, most easy way to solve this problem would be to just plug all this into your calculator. Just plug in 9.2 times 10 to the power of 3, plus 8.3 times 10 to the power of 4, plus 0 0.008 times 10 to the power of 6. That is the easiest way to solve this problem, but that's also kind of boring, and I don't like doing things on this channel that are boring. So here's a fun little trick for problems like this that maybe even your teacher will want you to use. Because when you have numbers like this that are in scientific notation, you can actually add the coefficients together without even worrying about the powers of 10, as long as the powers of 10 are equal. So for example, our first number is 9.2 times 10 to the power of 3, all right, that's whatever. Now, we can add this to 8.3 times 10 to the power of 4 by simply adding the coefficients if the powers were the same, which in this case they're not. 1 is 3 and 1 is 4. We can make the powers of 10 equal by shifting the decimal points around. So let's say, let, let's turn the 4 into a 3. It says 9.2 times 10 to the power of 3 plus, and then we'll take the, the times 10 to the power of 4, but instead make it a 3. And so if we're making the exponent smaller, then we have to make the coefficient bigger. So if we're lowering the power of 10 by 1, then we need to increase the coefficient by a power of 10 by moving the decimal point one space to the right. So that becomes 83 times 10 to the power of 3. So now we're in a position where if we wanted to add these two numbers together, all we'd have to do is just add 83 plus 9.2 and then just slap on the times 10 to the power of 3 at the end. So we want to do the same thing for the third number we're given, which is 0 0.008 times 10 to the power of 6. So again, we can lower the power, we can lower the 6 to a 3 so that we can just add the coefficients. So if we lower uh, times 10 to the power of 3, we are lowering the 6, we're lowering the power of 10 by 3 tens. So to keep this valid, we need to raise the coefficient by the power of three times. So by moving the decimal point one, two, three spaces to the right. So that just becomes an eight. So that means a real easy way to solve this problem by hand is just to say 9.2 plus 83 plus eight, and all of that is times 10 to the power of three. If you put that into a calculator, then we find a value of about 100 0.2 times 10 to the power of 3. And also, I've been ignoring the units, but it's in seconds. And that's our answer. Notice that it's not necessarily in proper scientific notation, because the coefficient should be greater, like 1 or greater, but then less than 10. So we can fix that by actually taking this answer and moving the decimal point two slots to the right. So that becomes 1, yeah, just about 1.002 times 10 to the power of, and then we have to raise the power by 2, since we made the number smaller, so to the power of 5. So 1 times 10 to the power of 5 seconds is our answer to this problem. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please subscribe and tell your friends about this channel, because that'll help me out in making more videos like this. If you have a request or a comment, just leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.